I'm just reading the last passage of the chapter, the book Eckhart Tolle, Now, The Power of Now, The Power of the Present. And the last paragraph is called The Art of Listening. The Art of Listening. And what follows now is the paragraph, the last paragraph, in my words, with my words, using my words and putting or emphasizing a little bit, you know, I think personally, personally thing to emphasize and to put in my thoughts and ideas. So I'm going to start now. While you are listening to another person, don't just listen with your conscience, but more with your whole entire body. So don't just listen with your conscience, being there, listening, with your ideas, thoughts, feel it with your whole entire body. Feel the whole field of energy of your entire or inner body while you're listening. You know, while you're listening to the other person, feel the whole energy of your entire body, everything. And here it comes. This draws the attention of your thinking apparatus <laughs> and creates a calm room that creates a possibility for you really to listen, truly listening, without interference of the conscience, without interfering of your mind, your brain, right? Subconscious, conscience, just be there and feel the energy. Just be in the moment and listen. And this, in Eckhart Tolle's opinion, and also in mine, <laughs> gives the other person or provides the other person with a room, a room to be. This is the most valuable present of all. Wow, beautifully said, because it's true, in my opinion, as well. Most of the people don't know how to listen, to really, truly, honestly listen. Because the main part of their attention is used by the thinking machine, the mind, thinking. Most of our time, a lot of people, me, myself included, pay more attention to what I'm thinking and feeling and my ideas and thoughts than just to be there and paying attention to the other person, right? To what the other person really says, truly says with their gestures and mimics, and everything, the characteristics, and feel it with your whole body, the whole present, being in the conversation, or wherever you listening to another person, whether it's on TV, or whether if it's in, in the garden, to, talking to a neighbor, or to your kids, wherever, in school, to your teacher, and fellow pupils, students, <laughs> and no interpretation do we give on the really meaningful, the to be, the being of the other person, away from words and thinking, and the being of that other person you're listening to, or you're sharing an energy field right now, you can truly feel only if you feel your inner self as well, your inner being, you are in that moment, right? And here starts the acknowledging and recognizing of the unit, and that's love. On the deepest level of being, you are one with everything that is. Wow. There's one last paragraph. I'm going to read that and interpret that in my own words in a second, <laughs> one a minute. But yeah, that is truly amazing what I just read and interpreted. Those are not only my words, also Eckhart Tolle's words and my thoughts and my ideas and my emphasis and how I punctuated it or pronounced it and, you know, connotation and everything and my additional thoughts and ideas. Like an interactive audio book. <laughs> my t totally, absolutely personal note, strong personal note, that's for sure. Yes. You know, from the inner, and I think everybody... A lot of people have different feelings about it. And if they read out or read that paragraph, they would feel something totally different or the same or something slightly different. It's just me and you and we, and we share and that's it. 
If you just be on the deepest level of being, you are one with everything that is. And it's love. It's a unity. Because then you feel it. And that's what I feel as well. I want to feel more of it and continue until my being is over. Or at least my conscious being. Whatever and whenever that might be. But it lo is, I don't know. I will continue step by step every moment. I, will, uh, I cannot look into the future right now. So I will continue with that. Continue to be and feel the love, the unity, the difference also, the individuality of everyone, me, myself, but being here in that moment, being present, I'm connected. I feel connected to the nature, to you, the uh, smartphone I'm holding, which was created by humans or built, and by materials of nature in the end, right? So we are connected. The book I'm reading, the paper made from trees, right? Everything is connected. The, the passages and the words I'm reading from another person, putting out my ideas and thoughts, listening to birds, sounds of nature here, hearing people in the distance. I'm connected. So, and I'm B. And I'm with everything that is. And now we come to the last paragraph. It's a small one. Most of the human connections or relations, mostly, and to the main part, exist mainly of activities of the mind. They don't exist of human beings. Human beings that communicate with each other and will become one. Sometimes it happens, of course, and more for others and less for others. But in Eckhart Tolle's opinion, And I agree with that already because I already read through it and now I'm translating it and using my own words. No relationship can function that way. And that's why there are so many conflicts in relationships, in human relationships. If the mind is owner of your life, dictates your life, conflicts, emotions, like problems also interfere and are there and come to pass. Contact with the inner body creates a clear room of no mind in which the relationship can blossom, can flourish. Being in your inner body, and both people are that, conscious, being in the moment state, just to be, accept, respect, acknowledge, being there, And taking in the other person, well then, that can create a healthy relationship. Interesting end, interesting end of this paragraph and of this chapter as well. Yeah, this book is really, truly amazing. And I will come back to on that later, <laughs> so, definitely. But for now, that's it. And yeah, thank you. Thank you, Diary, actually. <laughs> that means just putting out, like to talk sharing my thoughts and ideas while I'm reading something, being alone here or being by myself. Yes. Have a good night, have a good day, good afternoon. Peace, love. <laughs>